Hey guys, as you can see, I'm on the home page of Roblox. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use my program that I've created. It's called the Trade Currency Helper. First off, I've got two things to say. Looks confusing. It's not. And don't ask for donations, please. Okay. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how to get to the Trade Currency. So if you saw, I click Catalog. And then over here, that's Trade Currency. Or you can go to your My Roblox homepage, click Money, and then over here that's Trade Currency. Or you can go to an item that is more expensive than the money you have, click Buy Now, and it'll offer you to buy Robux Trade Currency or cancel. Just click Trade Currency. Now I know this looks confusing, this program, and it's not, like I said. Here's just an example of how to use it. Okay, first, fill out the top section. What I'll give? 21 Robux. And click drop the menu and click Robux. It's important that you click that, or you're not, or it's important that you select the right one. It'd be really hard to select the wrong one, but if you do, it's just not gonna work. And you'll figure that out pretty quick. But then you're gonna select the right. And if you don't know what the right is, here's a just here's what it is. Okay. It is the decimal number. For instance, 12.043. Do not include the one colon, or over here, do not include the colon one. That will just, it, it won't even work. It, the program is designed to only allow numbers into these text boxes. I'm trying to type in F right now, and all it's allowing is number one. I'm trying to type in J, and it, it just won't even allow you to type in anything else besides a period and numbers so we're gonna refresh the page and find the latest or the most current rate and that is 12.015 which I'm not gonna use because if you look over here this rate is higher so if you know basics of the trade currency then you should know that you're gonna lose money and you gotta wait till this rate is higher than this rate Ah, that's really funny. Someone's an idiot. Anyway, so we're gonna put it. We're gonna put these 21 Robux in at 12.185. So 12.185, and then you're gonna hit figure. All this is doing is figuring out how many tickets you should earn for your 21 Robux, and that'll be 255. So go to limit order. But I'll give 21 Robux what I want. 255 tickets. Then you'll hit OK. Then you want to check your trade to make sure you don't have any typos, and then you'll click OK. And then you'll see that 21 Robux is right here. Once it trades, and I get my 255 extra tickets, I can start my next trade. And one last thing, this, this button right here, it just clears everything, so your mind isn't like, what the heck, What num why are these numbers still here? Just click that and it'll cl wipe everything. Okay, now this confused box, a uh, tab, it has everything for if you're confused. If you're not watching this video, or even if you are and you're still confused, you can read this box. All it does is it tells you this stuff, nothing else. Or you can watch the video tutorial, which I'm making right now, and just click watch tutorial. Or you can click warning and it'll tell you the warnings of the trade currency and that any loss of money you have is not my fault and finally the copyright because I have had people steal my programs in the past and it did not make me a happy camper so yeah that's the uh, program in a nutshell bye